Bam. Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Kendrick Lamar album, oh, To yeah, Pimp a Butterfly. He's gonna review it. He's gonna review it. Wow. Review it. Wow. This album's bad. It's... He's gonna review it. It's really bad. Like, I don't wanna waste your time I don't wait. I don't want to waste any more of my time. It it, it is bad. I feel like this record has already sucked away enough of my life force. So let's not beat around the bush. Legendary black rapper comes back, releases to pimp a butterfly. In a way, this album is kind of like a meditation on his waning relevance. At least that's how he sets the tone on the opening track here, featuring George Clinton of Parliament Funkadelic, where he starts singing about fucking a model who just bleached her asshole, and how if he gets the bleach on his shirt, he's gonna feel like an asshole. Kendrick Lamar sounds like a, a malfunctioning tone-deaf robot who is like finding out what uh, feelings are for the first time. Like how, how he has sold millions and millions of records and his songs are garbage, I don't know. And his lyrics are consistently garbage. But there are moments on here where Kendrick doesn't really mince words either. One line in particular that... <laughs> where he's talking about music critics saying that they miss when rap was about rapping, if that were the case, motherfucker. Little Pump could be platinum. I agree. As well as Kendrick's proclamations of this dick ain't black on the <laughs> for free interlude track where he's kind of talking about issues of uh, wishing his dick had like a GoPro or GoPro abilities. Yeah, that was awful. It was really a moment for me on the album when I first heard it. I thought, is this genius or is this garbage? <laughs> <laughs> but it only took one more listen to figure out, yeah, yeah, it's garbage. While this record does have a few bones to pick, it's not necessarily just Kendrick shoving his dick down your throat, or even really tell you what to think, because there are moments here where Kendrick will say something out of one side of his ass, and then maybe he'll contradict himself a little, but not necessarily just contradicting himself. I sort of see it as him trying to contradict himself. Kendrick's just bitching about being black in America. Kendrick thinks white people suck. I agree. And this is something I've never heard before. We have this poem being told at the end, or maybe at the very beginning, of nearly every track on this album. And as Kendrick starts this poem with each attempt, he <laughs> drops a line about, uh, and it's, I guess, it's a metaphor, leaving the fridge open and someone takes your sandwich out of it. That's some like life ruining stuff. The second half of Mortal Man you really could have been cut entirely. Uh, I'm not really sure what the point of this meandering moment was. This thing is a mess, and it's not really that beautiful of a mess, even though it would like you to think it is. And I'm sure that there's gonna be a Kendrick stand out there too who will make the argument that sure, there are verses and there are tracks on this thing that are bad and they're messy, but almost everything on here is messy. And Kendrick on this album is addressing a lot of hot button issues, uh, taking on things that we see as, as being very large and very political. If that's the revolutionary idea that this record is supposed to be standing on, <laughs> it's kind of late to the party. It's been done before. This is not Kendrick's Jesus. It's all kind of messy and you have tracks just crashing into each other. The parts of this album that are mediocre, they're actually mediocre. This is easily the worst record I've had to review this year. The worst album I've had to review. And it's it's very rare that I define albums in those terms, but there have been some very special albums this year that came out and I had a very strong distaste for, but this one <laughs> takes the cake, the hair cake. This thing is almost completely unlistenable. And um, that's pretty much what leads me to say that I'm feeling a decent to strong seven on this record. Transition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe, and please don't cry. Just leave an angry comment in the comments if you're pissed off at my thoughts. And fuck you, Chip Skylark. Get the fuck out of here, Chip Skylark. All right, I don't wanna hear, I don't wanna hear anything from you, Chip, okay? Get the fuck out of here, Chip. I've had it up to here with you, okay? My teeth are better than yours, Chip. My, my teeth could steal your girl, Chip. Get out of my face, Chip. Your teeth are ugly. Ugly like your soul. Forever.
Ah, 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 ah.